constitute the one God. And we see that the Bible said something radically different. And you get into this discussion with people, and they misunderstand you. They falsely accuse you. They wrongly label you as something that you are not. And I want now to cast your mind back to the first four ecumenical councils that took place in the early church. And I'm going to share with you exactly what happened in four of the ecumenical councils that took place post-apostolic post times. Post Paul the Apostle. Post John the Apostle. Post Peter the Apostle. I'm going to share with you now a little bit of church history. And I'm going to show you where the doctrine of God and of Christ that so many teach today came from. Here we go. We're going to examine the first four ecumenical councils in the period of the early church. And I want you to understand what was taking place theologically, Christologically, and how the early church, not the first church, pay attention, the early church, deviated from the Jewish scriptures that, that taught regarding the doctrine of Christ. <laughs> first council was the Council of Nicaea, took place in 325 AD. The issue there of the council was to clarify the relationship between Jesus and God the Father. See, the Emperor Constantine at the time invited or sent out an invitation uh, to 1,800 bishops throughout the known Christian world. And apparently through various sources, only about uh, 